Hello, my name is Rebecca. I'm the Environmental Education Coordinator here at Calusa Nature Center and Planetarium in Fort Myers, Florida. And for today's Calusa Nature Moments, we're going to be talking about caterpillars. So all insects have a life cycle that includes a few different stages. They have an egg, they have a larvae, and then they have an adult. The caterpillar is the larva for a butterfly or moth. Butterflies and moths are both in the group Lepidoptera. Um, a moth is sort of like a nocturnal butterfly. They're very, very similar. So this caterpillar is a monarch caterpillar. You can tell it's a monarch caterpillar because of these antennae up on the front with some matching horns on the back. It's got black and white stripes and Oh, sorry, it's got black, white, and yellow stripes, and we found it on a milkweed plant. Now, because caterpillars are insects, they have the same number of legs as any insects. They have six legs. You can see those legs up in front. So this is the head of the caterpillar, and then you can see it's walking around with six legs up in front of the body. They're small, sort of small. Spiky. So those small spiky legs up in front are the real true legs of the caterpillar. You can see them grabbing onto the edge of that milkweed leaf there. Now in the back, however, at the back end of the caterpillar, you can see it has what looks like a lot more legs. Those are called pseudopods, fake legs and they help the caterpillar get around. And they work sort of like suction cups, so they are sticky and they can help that caterpillar hold on even if what it's standing on is uh, moving around. Now, we've just observed something exiting the caterpillar. Yes, that is poop. Caterpillars, as I'm sure you know from the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, are almost always eating, and so they poop a lot caterpillar poop is called thrass. And we will deposit it on the milkweed plant it came from. Make sure it gets a chance to eat its favorite food. Milkweed is in fact a caterpillar, a monarch caterpillar's only food. They only eat milkweed. Lots of caterpillars have what we call a host plant, a plant that is specifically the only food option for that caterpillar. Host plants exist for a lot of different reasons. The monarch caterpillar uses milkweed as a host plant so that it absorbs the toxins from the milkweed, which makes the caterpillar itself taste terrible. This guy, he looks like walking bird poop is the caterpillar of the giant swallowtail. Now, swallowtail caterpillars have a really interesting defensive adaptation. I'm gonna tap him on the head and he is not going to like that. Let's try it. And as you can see, when you pop them on the head, they stick out these red horns. Now, these horns are covered in a very smelly substance. If you touch it, it's gonna make you stink for a while and it's good at deterring predators. And this rather intimidating looking spiky caterpillar here is a caterpillar for Batus polydamus, the polydamus or tailless swallowtail. He's black, he's got those red spines on him, and if you tap him, just like with the giant swallowtail, he'll stick out some horns and make a horrible smell. He's also left some uh, orange goo on my finger there. Nobody's gonna want to mess with that. All right, so here we have the caterpillars for the Gulf fritillary. They've got those long black spikes all over. Their bodies are dark. Down at the bottom of this plant, we have two very young, very new caterpillars. They might be Gulf fritillaries or they might be zebra long wings. You can't really tell when they're this little. Zebra long wings look a lot like Gulf fritillaries, except their bodies are white instead of dark. 
Also on this plant, you can see some eggs from zebra longwings or gulf fritillaries. That's those little yellow spots stuck to the leaves.